I remember there had been talk about, you know, Sting might sign with AEW. I went, really? Sting is a guy that I thought was done. He came in unannounced, and they hit him. I'm sitting there at the table with Excalibur and JR, and the music hits, the crow comes up, you see the snow, and the fans still are not sure. It just shocked everyone. It's Sting! Sting's time in AEW has been a storybook. The, the fan inside of me, every time I get a chance to call a Sting match, it's something special. Sting, there is that mystique, there is that aura that he brings. The true magic of what Sting has to offer you've seen here in AEW. We all say Sting is an icon. We really mean that. He's an icon to many generations of wrestling fans and wrestlers as well. 50 years have I been in the business. He'll be respected as one of the 10 best of all time. Strange to think that every town that I do is the last time I'll be in this town to actually wrestle. If I do a Stinger Splash, it'll be the last Stinger Splash. If I put the Scorpion Death Lock, the Scorpion Death Drop, be the last ones in these towns. So it's kind of a weird, weird thought. It's starting to hit home, especially here in LA. Thank you, thank you. This is my moment, this is your moment. I wanna share it with you. I mean, there's not many guys. 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, 2010. And now here we are in the 20s and Sting still has the influence and presence. My very first match with AEW was Revolution 2021. I put Ian Steamboat on the same level as being two guys that are almost too nice to have been in our business. He's that, he's that special a guy. In my very last match. It's a sad day, but a good day, because that man is getting his flowers and, you know, going out on top, basically. Very few people in this business are able to walk away under their own terms will be Revolution 2024. In this case, it really is a storybook ending. Revolution 2024. The icon Sting will call it a career. You can't really quantify charisma. You can't really quantify integrity. Sting has always brought the intangibles. And most importantly, he's been true to the wrestling fan. He's out there to entertain the fans. Because you want to show younger talent that there is a way to do things. There is a way to work hard. There is a way to be successful. It was very special for me to have him here because, you know, that man was a big part of my childhood. Sting showed the whole locker room how to be a professional and how to handle this business. I hope all the young guys got to see that and understand that. Anytime you have an opportunity to have a guy like Steve Brown, got a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of information, a guy like that to just really make the company look good. He always has like this positive aura, positive attitude about him that nobody else really has. He just feels different. His willingness to still go out there and put his body on the line gives you a sense of, you know what, man? Like, I, I need to get off my rear end and live up. In the latter part of his career, in the final couple of years, he was not looking out for just himself and get himself over. He was also helping give, as we say in the business, give the rub to one of the great young stars in Darby Allen. That says a lot about Steve Borden, the man. My tag team partner, Darby Allen, the best tag team partner that I've ever had. Things has been really good for Darby, because Darby's been through a lot in his life. 
Sting is that good reassurance that someone like Darby can gravitate to. When you teach and you lead from the front, the learning curve is faster. And you look at Darby's rise to stardom, I don't think you have the Darby we have today without Sting. The only thing for sure about Sting is my retirement is for sure. Any professional athlete, one thing that's very important to them is to go out on their terms. It's been known for the last couple of years, this may be the last time, this may be the last time. Well, in Greensboro, it is the last time, and that's what makes that night so special. Sting will walk away, and 40 plus years, very few people can say that. For your final match, who will your opponent be? Out with the old and in with the new. Sting, you poison the well. It's time to say goodbye to you and everybody like you. The winners of this match. Yes. Scorpion Death Drop! Covering! One, two! We're executive vice presidents around here. Can you show a little more respect next time and call us by our God-given names of Nicholas and Matthew Jackson? We were trying to get your attention, Sting. We just wanted to talk, and you didn't listen. We're the company EVPs, and you wouldn't even give us the time of day. Like, how disrespectful is that? I was so emotional and, and upset after that night because of what you guys made us do. Not cool, guys. Not cool. Hey, Darby, you're a freaking sweetheart. You're a freaking cool dude. You are everything we love about AEW. You're an AEW OG. Just completely upstaging this moment. This is despicable. Sting coming back to wrestling. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Sting is here. Going undefeated as a team for years and finally winning the AEW World Tag Team Championship. History is made! Should have been a beautiful moment for Sting and his family, but you stole it. In all the years I've been a pro wrestler, no one's ever messed with my, my own flesh and blood. At Revolution, Darby Allen, Sting, we win those Tag Team Championships. Everything that I have left in me, I'm bringing to Revolution. Oh, Darby! Not waiting until Revolution this Sunday. We end you forever, Sting. EVP trigger's coming. You have a fight on your hands. The fight of your life.